Okay, so today, thank you so much for coming. Core, core, okay? We're gonna use the core today. And why do we need the core? Because it keeps our back healthy, keeps our legs healthy, keeps our body, removes pain from parts of the body. It's just really a nice thing to have as a strong core. Also people like the abs, right? The uh, sexy abs, people like that too. So that's always good. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and come into a comfortable seated pose. Close our eyes, put our hands on our knees. And let's start off by checking with our senses. So let's start off with hearing. What are the sounds in your environment? And then let's check in with the skin sensations, like any air touching your arms or your face. And then bring attention to gravity where you're feeling the ground on your feet, your legs, your sits bones. And then bring your hands together over your heart. Set an intention for your practice today. And we'll begin with an OM, which is the sound of the universe. Inhale. OM. Beautiful. Softly open your eyes and drop your hands. We're going to start off with a Sufi grind. So inhaling forward. Exhale back. And we're going to start waking up the core. So as we go around, let's start figuring out what is the core. A lot of people think it's just the six pack is the core. But truly, the core is everything from the tip of the head down to the tailbone, the center of our body. So we're, right now we're rotating around that center. So let's reverse. So exhaling back through the nose, inhaling forward. So as you turn, try to turn slower than probably you want to and really feel the sense of your core. As you lean over to one side, you'll notice there's a set of muscles that are holding you up. And as you lean to the back, another set of muscles to the other side, another set. So we're working all these muscles today so that we can really feel the core. All right, just one more time around. Coming to center. Let's just stay for a moment and feel centered. What's it feel like to be completely centered? Which means our tip of our head is directly above the middle of our sits bones both forwards, backwards, sideways, the other side. So go ahead and just find that center spot, just sitting silently, quietly. Close your eyes and just feel that for a moment. So when we're completely centered, we shouldn't be using any muscles. So everything's at rest. All right, 
Now we're gonna start rocking back and forth. So softly open the eyes. We're gonna rock back and forth on the, the sits bones. So you can bring your hands to your belly. We're gonna start really warming up the lower belly. So inhaling forward, exhale sharply out, pressing all the air out. So when we think about ab work, this is where we're normally thinking. The traditional abs. Now we're gonna bring it up into our upper body so you can open the arms and feel the opening of the chest looking up and then exhaling to heart center. This is also core, the chest, the upper back. Feel the strength of the muscles. Open up to the whole universe and then only bring the things down to your heart center that align with you. Mm. One more. And now bring your hands to heart center. <clears throat> Just feel your heart for one moment. Breathing through the nose. Feel your heart beating. Let's do one more deep breath here, feeling your heartbeat. Now we're going to bring our hands into our shoulders. We're going to inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Now we're working our core in a different direction, our lats. The side of our body is starting to get opened, starting to strengthen. So feel all the muscles you're working right now. Close your eyes so you don't get dizzy. All right, one more. Mm, beautiful, you can bring your hands down. Feel the energy change. Now bring your hands to your shoulders and bring the elbows directly up. So we're using our lats for this. So this is continuing the core work, non-traditional core work. All right, one more. <sighs> Exhale down. <clears throat> Beautiful. We're gonna come and lay down and <clears throat> start opening up the hips. So the hips are the bottom part of the core and we're gonna have our knees as wide as our mat. Our, 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 so our heels are as wide as our mat and our knees are pointing towards the sky. We're gonna come lay down. We can bring our hands to our belly or on the side and we're gonna rock our knees back and forth in the same direction each way, inhaling right, exhale left. And as we do this, we're massaging out our sacrum. So part of my toes are touching the ground and part of my toes are touching the mat. It's really important to have your feet as wide as your mat. Give you lots and lots of room. So we're just one inch right now. Let's go two inches. Mm. 
We're always breathing through our nose in and out unless otherwise noted. Now let's go three inches in each direction and feel gravity pulling your legs down and your muscles of your hips, your glutes, holding them up. And as you go farther and farther, you may have to bring your hands up if they were on the ground. Now let's drop our knees all the way to the side, all the way touching the ground on each side going back and forth, just rocking. And then let's start deepening the little twist by pushing into the ground. So when we drop our knees over to the right, we'll lift up the left hip by pushing the ground away with the foot. And then go to the other side, press into the ground with the foot, lifting the hip. So we're just lifting the hip back and forth. Inhale the hip up, exhale the hip down. So we're starting to work the back, the glute, stretching the belly. All right, one more instruction. We're gonna stretch out the legs and windshield wiper the feet. So the feet are coming back and forth, in towards each other, out, in, out. So the legs are stretched out and we are moving one foot in front and then the other foot in front. So let's inhale, open, exhale, close. You can move at your own pace, whatever feels good for you right now. Fanning the feet open, fanning the feet closed. So what's happening here? We're getting into the legs. We're moving, rotating the femurs inside the hip socket, strengthening these muscles down here, the lowest part of our core. All right, one more. Hmm. All right, we're gonna start bringing some more vigor into the core. We're going to lift the right leg and the left arm up and then exhale them down. Inhale the right arm and the left leg. Feel your belly starting to get engaged as you lift the leg. If you want a little more hamstring work, you can push through the heel, which will start engaging the hamstring. If that feels like too much, you can back off. All right, one more on each leg and arm. And then let's rest for a moment. All right, it's time to grab your blocks. So if you have blocks, grab them. You can also use a pillow if you don't have a block. So we're gonna put one block in between our calves, okay? So the meatiest part of the calf the other block is going to go between our hands. We're going to start with our block next to our hips. And we're going to inhale the legs up and the arms at the same time. So we're squeezing the block in between the legs and in between the hands. 
You could also use a pillow, a cat, a baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably not a baby. So your hands are on the blocks on each side. If you don't have two blocks, you can just do the arms without a block, but it's best to have something between the hands as well as between the feet. So if this is just very, very hard, you can also just lift the legs one inch off the ground, squeezing the block. Remember that you're keeping the knees completely straight. The knees are 100% straight. They're not bent at all. We're inhaling through the nose. All right, just one more. Mm. All right, now we're going to have our hands overhead and then we're gonna take our feet right above our hips and then drop the heels up or down and then bring them back up. So we're going from a 90 degree angle with our body to, let's see, is that a 60? So 90 to 60. So we're gonna inhale up to 90, exhale down to 60. Squeeze the block the whole time. If you don't have a block, just squeeze the feet together as much as possible. All right, we'll just do one more. And then drop the legs all the way down very slowly. Whew. And then just rest. If you're not tired right now, then <laughs> you probably weren't doing it hard enough. Ah, oh, just rest. It's a tough one. <sighs> All right, so we're going to roll over onto our belly and do something similar. So... Just take a look at me for a second. I'm gonna come onto the belly and then we're going to lift the leg and the arm, the opposite arm and leg. So inhaling up, exhale down. You can let like, your head rest on the ground if that feels comfortable. Just a few more. Mm. All right, rest. Just rest because you're going to need the rest. <laughs> Look at laugh. Okay, just rest. Feel your heart beating. So there's options for the next one. One option is you can have blocks in between the legs, just like we had before with between the calf and between the hands. And we're gonna do Superman with the block, okay? So we're squeezing the block between the hands and between the legs. That's one option. The other option is you just use it without blocks, okay? So you choose your option. We're only gonna stay for 20 seconds, all right? Just 20 seconds. And we're going, to, um, we're going to breathe in and out through the nose with mindfulness. All right, ready, set, and go. In. 
And one, two, and rest. Make a little pillow with your hands. Let your forehead rest on the ground. Feel your heart beating. Mm. Beautiful. All right, we're going to come up and we're going to work on planking. Just when you thought your life was going to be easier. <laughs> Moo -ha, ha ha ha. Okay, so planks. Let's talk about planks. First of all, planks are probably the most classic way to get into the core to use the whole core. So there's options. One option is to be on the hands, okay? So look at how there's a nice strong line between the tip of my head and my tailbone and even my ankles, right? Things that happen, people are like this, that's a downward dog. They are like this, that's an upward dog, right? So we have a straight line. There's no dropping. The butt's not falling, the butt's not rising. Another thing, is right between my shoulder blades. If I put this block right here, this is pushed up. Watch this. This is me falling. This is me pushing up. What you want to do is have them push up through the shoulder blades. You don't want to be collapsing. All right. Next thing is you rotate out the biceps. So the line of the elbow is pointing forward. So that's, that's how you want to be if you're going to be in a plank on your hands. The second option is you can come down your forearms. Okay. But again, your butt's not in the sky, your butt's not on the ground and you're pushing between the shoulder blades. So pick whichever one. We're going to stay here for a full minute. So breathe in and out through the nose and feel your heart beating. If you're down in your forearms, you can clasp your hands. It may feel a little bit nice. All right, we are halfway. If you need to take a break, you can drop your knees to the ground and then lift them back up as soon as you can. See if you can smile. <laughs> All right, we only have 15 seconds, less than 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and rest. Whew. All right, make a little pillow with your hands. You can shake out your tailbone, your hips to release, release any tension. So it's really important to breathe through the nose, rest, and if you feel it gasping through the mouth, then you probably push yourself a little too hard and you should take more of a break next time. All right, we're going to now do side plank. Oh joy. All right. So let me get rid of my block off my back. So options for side plank. One option, so I'm gonna bring my, my right hand down. One option is to have the right knee down. The left hand is reaching up into the sky. The left leg is extended. So that's one option. The other option is to bring the right leg next to the left leg. Another option is to lift the left leg. All right, pick which option. We're gonna just stay for 30 seconds. So breathe through the nose the whole time. All 
All right, then only less than 10 seconds. If you're getting tired, you can bring one of your legs down and, ah, oh, yes, bring that left leg, left arm down. Wonderful. You can shake it out. So planks are really hard on the wrists. So if you had any wrist pain, let's just go ahead and stretch it out. How are we doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Whew. All right, let's do make little waves, little waves, and then make little fists. Okay, and shake it out. Okay, good. We're gonna go to the other side. I'm just gonna turn around this way so I can still see you. <clears throat> so again, options. And you may have realized after doing the last side, it was too hard, whatever option you picked, or maybe it was too easy. So now my left leg is down, my right leg is out. That's option one. Option two, bring the left leg to match. And option three is lifting the right leg. All right, we're gonna stay for 30 seconds. In and out through the nose, no matter how hard that feels. Don't let the hips sag. Can you smile? All right, three, two, one, and come on down. Whew. All right, let's shake out the wrists. So when it comes to strengthening the wrists, you want to go to a point where you get some exercise in the wrist, but you don't want to overdo it and injure your wrists, so especially if you use the computer a lot. Um, it can be a little much, but it is good for you to do some, some of this work. Okay, so <clears throat> we've been working hard on the front. We did the front, we did the back. Now we've just done the sides. We're gonna now come into the squats. <laughs> so the core needs to have strong glutes. Strong glutes, strong quads are going to help the core be supported, all right? So we really, really wanna make those, those squads and glutes strong. So let's first do three ohms right here in our little squat. So what I want to see in a squat, first of all, you can bring your legs farther apart if that feels better. <sighs> if it feels better, whatever feels good. Then really engage the glutes and the quads, okay? And now bring the hands together. Inhale. Home. All right, and next inhale, really engage the glutes and the quads the whole time. <laughs> this is very challenging. All right, we're gonna do one more. Inhaling, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads. Beautiful. We're going to now put the hands on the ground, lift the tailbone directly up, dropping the crown to the ground in 10 squats. Ready? Inhaling up. Exhale down. All right, we're on nine, and then 10. And when you come up into your forward fold for 10, I want you to grab your elbows, bend the knees deeply, and sway. Feel your heart beating. Do 
do something really nice, a little forward fold flow. So taking the right hand to the left foot, bend the right knee deeply, lift the left hand into the sky, inhaling up, really stretch, and then exhale the left hand down, touch the right foot, bend the left knee deeply, reach the right hand into the sky. Exhale down, and then go back and forth at your own pace, getting a nice stretch. Let the head drop in between. Look up at the hand. So we're slowly opening the hamstrings with this dynamic stretch. One more in each direction. All right, slowly, slowly roll up to stand. All right, good. Let's shake it out. And we're gonna stand in Tadasana. So Tadasana is very similar to plank pose, but it's on the feet instead of on the forearms and the toes. So let's open our palms, bring the hips directly underneath uh, or right above the feet, drop the tailbone, engage the lower belly, and just let's stand still, closing our eyes, feeling our breath. Micro bend the knees. Feel your heartbeat. All right, one more deep breath through the nose. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna continue working on the core. So we're gonna to come to the top of our mat and you can just take a look at me for a second. We're gonna take a big step back with the left leg and we're gonna come into warrior one. So warrior one, I like to have the feet wider. Okay, so I have my foot almost near the edge of the right side of my mat, my right foot, and then my left foot is gonna come down into an angle, and it's kind of near the edge of the left side of the mat. My hips are both pointed forwards. So we're taking the left hip and wrapping it around towards the front. The left leg is straight, and then we're gonna bend the right leg and then we're gonna lift the arms, opening the chest. So that's what it looks like. So you can go ahead and join me in this if you're not already, and it looks like everyone's already. So make sure your feet are wide enough so that your hips feel like they have the space. I think a lot of times people are like trying to be on a line. Warrior two is on a line, but warrior one is wider. So inhaling the arms up, let's look forward and let's do five deep breaths here. And five. All right, we're gonna take, do a little twist. Um, so we're gonna take the left hand down right next to the right foot, or actually right underneath the shoulder is even better, wherever feels most comfortable. And then bring the left hand, I'm sorry, the right hand into the sky. So we're doing a twist. Let's do five deep breaths here. Keep that knee, that right knee is staying bent. Now we're gonna switch hands. We're gonna bring the right hand down and bring the left hand into the sky. Five deep breaths. 
Make sure you keep that right knee nice and bent. And five. Now I want you to come up from your core. So don't push yourself up with your hand. Take the hands out and then lift up with your core very, very slowly. Whew. All right, you can straighten out the front leg. Let's bring the feet both parallel, pointing toes pointed towards the side of the mat, the long side. Let's reach up and then let's exhale down. Just do a wide legged forward fold before we go to the other side. So you can drop the head, bend the elbows. Feeling the backs of your legs really opening. Slowly come up. You can walk your feet together. And then slowly roll up. Whew. We're going to come back and meet the top of our mat again. We'll stand into Dasana and feel the difference on our two sides. You can close your eyes. All right, oh, softly open the eyes. We're gonna now take a big step back with the right leg. I'm just gonna come around to the other side of my mat so I can still look at you. So now my left leg is next to the left side of my mat. My right leg is nearer to the right side of my mat. So I'm not on railroads, uh, I'm, or I am on railroad tracks. My legs are farther apart than Warrior Two. My back leg is at an angle. My back foot is at an angle. My hips are both pointing towards the same direction. And then I bend the left knee deeply into a right angle. Make sure that your knees are not going over the toes. And then inhale the arms up. Look up, let's do five deep breaths. We're going to now do a twist. So bringing the left hand down, either right underneath the left shoulder or next to the right. I'm sorry, your right hand is coming down to the ground <laughs> and your left hand is going up into the sky. So the, the, the right hand is underneath the right shoulder and the left hand is going into the sky. Let's do five deep breaths. Make sure that left knee is staying deeply bent. And five. Now bring the left hand down, bring the right hand up into the sky. Five deep breaths. And five. Whew. All right, wonderful. Now I want you to use your core to lift you. So take the arm off the ground and just slowly lift the body with the core. So if you had any struggle, you know you still need to do more core work. <laughs> okay, let's bring the toes both parallel. Let's do another forward fold. Bring the hands down, dropping the head, letting the backs of the legs open. All right, 
Wonderful. Now we're gonna come back so you can heel toe the feet back together. We're gonna come back up to stand, slowly come up. So what else can we do with the core? We can do a tree pose, all right? So tree pose is a great core workout because our whole arms are gonna be lifted up and the core is going to be lifting that. We also have to have strong legs. So we're gonna start off on our left foot. We're gonna bring our right toes either next to the ankle or on the calf or up at the top on the inner thigh. Either any of those places is perfect. Bring the hands together. You can either press the hands together, which is actually a really great strengthener to bring everything in the in, to the midline, or I'm gonna step back, or you can lift the arms. So if you do lift the arms, make sure you're not lifting the shoulders into the ears. Let the shoulders drop and just lift the arms out. All right, we're gonna stay here for a full minute. So make sure you're comfortable, you feel secure, you can be by a wall. And now breathe in and out through the nose. Wherever you are, make sure that your foot is not on your knee and then press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot, bringing everything towards the midline. Only 10 more seconds. Can you smile? Can you enjoy? All right, that's it. We're coming out with grace. So flap the arms, flap the arms, flap the leg. Shake it out, shake it out. Dance, do a little dance. <laughs> All right, good. We're gonna go to the other side. Okay, so. Bringing the weight onto the right leg, bring the left toes next to the left, to the right heel, or on the calf, or on the inner thigh at the top. But wherever it is, it's not gonna be on the knee. So we're gonna stay here for a full minute, so make sure you feel really strong and secure. This hip is moving towards the foot, and the foot is going towards the hip. Remember, you can have your hands at heart center pressing or open. Whatever you do, don't lift the shoulders, let the shoulders rest. Do some fancy things with your hands. And if you wobble, it's better because it's gonna strengthen the ankles even more. So any wobbles are good. Just don't look at me, look at something on the wall. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Little birds, fly, fly my little birds. <laughs> okay, good, shake it out. Do a little dance. Whew. All right. We're going to come down to seated and do some twists. So come on down. So a few options for your twist. You can have, uh, we'll start off with all of the toes and the feet out in front of us, Dandasana. We'll start with the right heel coming over by the left hip. So you can stay here, or you can bring the left heel next to the right hip. If that's too much on your knees, you can keep that leg straight. Now we're gonna take the left elbow on the right knee, and then taking the right hand behind, we're gonna look over the right shoulder, and we're going to be breathing deeply 
I'm gonna stay for a full minute to really release all the work we've done in our core. So breathing deeply, using the breath to deepen the twist. On the exhale, loosen a little bit. Inhale a little bit deeper. Exhale a little loosen. Make sure that you're, you're pressing into the ground with your sits bones and press, pressing the crown of your head into the sky. All right, one more deep breath. So we're gonna slowly turn the head forward. Then we're gonna unhook only the left hand, then take the right elbow and we're gonna reverse the twist, looking over the left shoulder, taking the left hand behind us. So we're just gonna stay here for five breaths to reverse the twist on this side before we go to the other side. five. All right, slowly unfurl, take the arm down, stretch out the right leg, stretch out the left leg. You can shake out the feet. You can shake out the body. Ah, all right, great. Now we're going to take the left heel by the right hip and the right heel either straight or by the left hip. And we're now turn the same direction that we just were turning as our counter pose take the left elbow, I'm sorry, the right elbow to the left knee, and then take the left hand behind you, press into the ground with the sits bones, and we're gonna stay here for a full minute using the breath to deepen the twist. So make sure your crown is going towards the sky, inhale deeper, and then exhale, let it go a little bit, inhale a little deeper. All right, one more deep breath. Now we're gonna unfurl the head and the right hand, and then bring the right hand behind you. Look over the right shoulder just to reverse the twist, taking the left hand onto the knee. Now look over the left shoulder. We're only just gonna do five deep breaths here. And last deep breath. All right, slowly unfurl, take the left hand out, stretch out the legs and windshield wiper the feet. We're gonna come into a happy baby. So move any um, blocks or props off of your mat. So happy baby has three modes. We can grab our feet and bring them by the sits bones, and rock back and forth. Bring it by the belly button, rock back and forth, and bring it by the head, and even way over the head. So just pick whichever option feels like the best thing for your back, and you can go back and forth between all of them. And then when you're ready, <clears throat> you can touch your toes in front of you and behind. Rolling out the whole spine after all that hard work we just did.
If you feel like it, you can come into plow with your feet overhead, or you can do a shoulder stand, which is also core work. Go for the legs, come into Baddha Konasana. Just make sure there's nothing underneath your head as you pick whichever option is for you. And then finally, whenever you're ready, come on into your Shavasana. Come lay down. We're just gonna do a little mini Shavasana today. And if, of course, if you have more time, please stay in Shavasana for a lot longer, like a good 10, 20, an hour maybe. <laughs> So like I said, if you can stay in Shavasana longer, please do. Otherwise, come on up to sit. And put your hands over your heart. Remember your intention for practice today. Feeling gratitude towards yourself for taking time to do yoga. And then let's just close with an OM. Inhale. OM. And may the benefits of this practice benefit you and everyone you meet. Namaste.